Hi, I'm Terry Oracle, and this is a reading for FK. By the way, we're using the romantic, Victorian romantic tarot. Lovely. Bye-bye, studio. Get yours today. So I'm trying to decide whether to stick with a career choice in healthcare and uh, advance my degree, or if I should open a diner. Life has been a real struggle lately. I'm not sure what my path is. I love my job. And my pay is good, but for my family, should I be staying in this position in healthcare or go for my dream and open a diner? I just don't want to disappoint anyone or ruin a good thing. My job is stable and it does keep a roof over my head. Thanks in advance, FK. All right, FK. We're using the Victoria. So, you know, it looks like that pretty much stay where you are and uh, advance your degree. So it's interesting that we have the Eight of Pentacles, sort of the, you know, sort of the uh, enhancing ourselves or being an apprentice type feel that we have over here. We have the Devil upside down. We'll talk about that in a minute. We have the Wheel of Fortune upside down. We'll talk about that right now. So one thing that I do that's different than what most people do is the Wheel of Fortune. To me, my opinion, I'm just a dude reading tarot, my opinion, the Wheel of Fortune goes round and round. That's all about sort of our daily life. It's about our daily life. So sometimes we're on top of the wheel and everything is going great. Other times we're falling off the other side, kind of like a carnival wheel to where you're not exactly seat belted firmly in the seat. And maybe you're going to be falling off the downward side, or you're going to be trying to climb up the upward side. But on the top, you're on the top of the world. And on the bottom, you're on the bottom of the world. So it, it's like life. It just goes round and round. And we have death over here, I think, meaning that you're in for an upgrade to your current job. It seems like there's something in your job that is you, can, you are able to upgrade, or you're able to make yourself better, or something like that within that job. But the apprenticeship pretty much points me to um, to just sort of staying where you're at, but moving up in the world or getting maybe, you talked about, uh, let's see, advance my degree. You talk about advancing degrees and things like that. I think you could also have a position to where you're gonna be able to uh, get into a better position soon within uh, between I think between near the end of the year or the beginning of next year is what I see here so we have an opportunity for you to sort of advance your position maybe as well you know I guess get some certifications or advancing your degree or whatever but that sort of points to the eight of Pentacles that apprenticeship or that that doing things like that the devil upside down means really don't sort of don't shake up life too much. In other words, don't just dive full speed into the unknown dream of a diner. A diner sounds pretty good. I could use some lemon meringue pie right now, but it, it seems the devil upside down. I mean, don't take that huge leap of faith because it could be something to work out. And like you point out, you have a stable job, you have a job that makes good money, and it seems that you could further your career in that field or further your career in that on that ladder rather than just ditching and going full speed into the, the diner realm. Um, if you've watched any kitchen nightmares or whatever where the the uh, everyone complains about restaurant failures and how and how rampant it is and how many hours involved and things like that, you could be looking at a you could be looking at a cold splash of water in the face uh, doing a, a big leap like that. So the devil upside down means really don't take that huge risk, don't take that huge leap in order to, to get, even though it is your dream, don't ever, don't, don't sacrifice everything to chase it. It doesn't seem like the correct time just based upon the cards and the Victorian romantic time. So, uh, devil upside down, don't make that leap. Eight of Pentacles, again, the apprenticeship, pointing to further education. Maybe 
you're talking about your degree or certifications or applying for something that's a little bit better. So sort of moving up the ladder a little as time would be would be worth you know that small amount of risk rather than the big risk of just going full steam with the devil. So the three of swords upside down sort of points me to you know you're avoiding that grief, you're avoiding that that big change and the grief that will accompany that as well. And the wheel of fortune being upside down sort of means um, you don't really want to just grab the wheel and just twist it all the way in the opposite direction and just circumvent everything uh, in your life for that again. So the wheel of fortune goes round and round. The daily routine goes round and round. So the point me to let the day-to-day -day routine go round and round and don't disrupt it. Disrupting it sort of points back to the Three of Swords. So it points back to that that disappointment or you know something bad could happen with a huge leap of faith, like what you're talking about here. So death points me to that. I think you will get something within your current job, or you will find a little smaller, better position. But the whole thing seems to be this incremental feel of small increments upward, small increments maybe in pay, small increments in you know, your career instead of huge leaps in the career or a huge leap in another direction. So this is where the cards sort of point me to. Uh, so obviously between the two choices you have of the diner and advancing your career at your current career, especially with stability of healthcare, kind of common sense, right? The stability of health care, everyone is going to need health care. There's, there's no point to where nobody needs health care. So, so that area will always have opportunities, and it also could allow you to you know, move where you want to move or be in the position you want to be in because there's the demand is so great that you will uh, always have somewhere to go type thing. So death sort of points you to that small upgrade, that dimension of escalation up the ladder, and I think that you'll be fine. But that's just my opinion. Never make major life decisions based upon some dude reading cards on the internet. Just saying. So that is what I think. If you would like a reading of your own for free, please email me at the email below. And as always, hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video.